China, they're the best, right? Not us. They're a bigger economy. They're a better economy. We should follow them. We should be more like the Chinese, like Chinese moms. Our moms should be like Chinese moms. That's what's being said today, right? That's the fact. That's where everybody comes, both sides of the aisle. Politicians all running from China and saying China's too good. We have to be more like them. Listen to what Senator Michael Bennett said when he went to China. He's a freshman senator from Colorado, literally had the Chinese feed him his own lunch. Listen to this. The most embarrassing moment to me in that trip was when a government official said to me, or said to the delegation, uh, you guys need to get your fiscal house in order. And Bennett's not alone. This isn't about Senator Bennett from Colorado. This is about all the politicians. This is about all of us accepting this reality. But let's take a look at the fast facts. First, who's number one, us or China? China? Wrong. They're number two. Their economy puts out $5 trillion. Ours, $14 trillion. Okay? We're killing them. Now, are we slipping? Yes, but that's the fact. Five to 14. It's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, what's their big asset? Their population, right? 1.3 billion people. That's why they're killing us, right? They have more hands to manufacture. Here's the bottom line, though. The real deal, those people don't spend money. In fact, those households spend 1 14th what American households spend. And because of that, their GDP is a fraction of what ours is. So we shouldn't be scared away simply because they have more people. All right, so manufacturing. They're just making more things. They're just better, right? They just outdo us. They don't. We produce 20% of the world's goods here, okay? That's more than double what they put out. Those are the facts. So where am I heading here? You don't have to believe me. What do I know? Those numbers are all right, though. You can check the fast facts for yourself. But is that China's economy may be a little fugazi. What does fugazi mean? Look it up. It means it's fake. It's made up of something that we're not recognizing. You don't want to believe me? Why would you? Listen to what Jim Chanos had to say. Who's he? Huge investor. Who's he? Got us right about the real estate bubble. bubble made a, what's the word? Bubble. Made a fortune off it, okay? And now he's doing it again. He's saying, take a look at China very closely because it's not what it seems to be. Listen. Well, that's the interesting thing. It's a lot less than people think. Um, a lot of people think that a lot of this investment is infrastructure and factories, so on and so forth, but it's not. And that's the interesting irony here, is that a lot of the property that's being built, mm. whether it's office space that's not being rented or condominiums, um, is not affordable by about 99% of the Chinese population. All right, so now let's slow down and back up and understand this, okay, at the end of the real deal here. Japan, buying up big things in New York City. They had all this money. They were buying our debt. Most of it was based on commercial real estate and residential real estate that they were building all over the place. Here's the thing. They didn't sell it. It wasn't occupied. It wasn't returning on that investment. There became a bubble, and it burst, and we know what happened with Japan. In China, the same scenario, according to Chanos and many others, is happening exponentially. That so much of the commercial real estate, which they have levered, remember, housing bubble, leverage, they do it there the same way. International investors, everybody wants their hands into China. Same things going on, maybe you have the same bubble. However, what's the big lesson? The recession, many economists say, were good for us because it slowed down China, gave us a chance to reset and move forward. But this debt ceiling, do you remember the BOLO? Be on the lookout for the debt ceiling. They're going to raise it now, August, whenever. The politicians will do it because it's good for the left, it's good for the right, and bad for us. And in politics, that usually means something will happen. But when we raise that debt ceiling and more debt is issued, do you know who's going to buy it? China. They are holding a lot of our paper. They are mighty. The question is, do we help them? Or do we help ourselves? This isn't about being anti-China. It's about being pro-US. Think about that, my friends. That is the real deal. What do you think? Tweet me, Facebook me, stop hammering at me, and we'll see you on the next Real Deal.